Hello and welcome back to Haltech TV. Today we've got episode 6. This episode is where we're going to talk about why I chose to go with Gigabyte. Why I chose to ask Gigabyte to be a part of this project. Um, and it's to really do so, I need to explain uh, what makes the mini ITX market a little different from other motherboard form factor markets. And really it comes down to the design of the motherboards. Um, and the design that the companies choose to go in with their motherboards. Uh, so when you're looking at the designing a mini ITX motherboard, you've got to really choose uh, a few things. So you've got to choose CPU socket location, a type of RAM slot and the type of expansion slot, and then uh, the rear I.O. That's, that's the four things that you really need to look at when designing uh, a motherboard in this uh, market and, and those are the those are kind of the design the defining features of each product in this market uh, for example what is a standard in other form factors isn't in the mini ITX form factor you get different types of um, RAM slots you get different types of expansion slots uh, but you only get one so you can own you have to choose one and go with it you can't kind of offer uh, multiple different types uh, and then CPU soccer location. Now what makes Gigabyte different uh, from the rest of the companies is the CPU socket location. A lot of the other companies that make mini ITX motherboards uh, care a lot about the uh, CPU socket location and they, they obviously put a lot of money into uh, designing a motherboard that has a certain amount of features but then has a CPU socket location that's far enough away from the expansion slot to offer a bit more flexibility in terms of air coolers. Uh, for example, you know, CPU socket location on mini ITX motherboards isn't standard. Now, Gigabyte don't do that. Uh, Gigabyte, obviously, uh, they don't focus so much on that specific feature, so you do get a CPU socket that is located a little bit further down on the motherboard, and I'll explain uh, really the um, implications or whatever uh, that this has in a further web series that we're going to be doing. Um, but because of this, then what they then do is they have a cheaper motherboard um, with all of the same features as their competition, but without the CPU socket location being a little bit higher up. Um, and because of that, they then obviously have compensated by taking this motherboard and adding a ton more features for the price than their competition. Uh, so you get uh, a black matte PCB. I know that may not cost too much or whatever, but you get that. Um, and you get this this kind of this plain canvas to work on, but then they also have one of the richest rear I/O um, panels than that there is on the mini ITX market. So you get dual gigabit, uh, you get Wi-Fi, you get Bluetooth, you get uh, the best um, video display output choice of any internal uh, graphic solution. So you get dual HDMI and a DVI instead of a HDMI, a DVI and a uh, VGA. They've, they've put more time and effort into all of the other features that will affect a much larger audience um, and a much larger consumer base than uh, having uh, a higher up expansion slot because let's be real, let's be realistic here. Um, most mini ITX motherboards go in such a small case where the type of uh, air cooler that you can choose from is so small that having a CPU socket higher up will affect maybe your choice of having 10 more air coolers um, to choose from. And then when you go into the larger cases, such as the Prodigy going, that we're going with here, you can go with air, air water coolers, you can go with all-in-one water coolers, which we have done. So we're really showing that that feature isn't completely necessary and uh, for a company like Gigabyte uh, to then create this product and have it much more feature rich for the price um, for the sake of you know not having a higher up CPU socket um, is, is in my opinion worth it. Uh, so like I said um, you get you don't get a higher up CPU socket but you get for the price uh, the most feature rich motherboards on the market in the mini ITX market. So that is why I chose to go with Gigabyte. Um, they have the best design, in my opinion, in terms of uh, features, and it, having uh, a completely black canvas to work from is definitely the best way to go when it comes to um, the aesthetic design of a system. So that is why I chose to go with Gigabyte. 
Uh, that is why I think Gigabyte have the best mini ITX motherboards. Um, so yeah. Uh, yeah, goodbye.